Hey guys, it's me, the Dark Master here, and today I'm going to be doing another product sanction video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the 100% complete concave tour. As you can see, here it is. They still never fixed the Suprex glitch, so I'm just going to really quickly show you guys. It still is like this. Anyways, let's go back to the concave tour. So I'm pretty sure this is the female one. They look a lot different. Also, they turned off the rain in the demo. Okay, yeah, so I am the female one. They changed up the skin a bit. And this looks to be some sort of different skin for Concave Nator. It's just don't have discord open right now it somehow won't open so pretty sure it's either the jungle concave nator or it's the wetlands concave nator but it does look really nice anyways you guys are here to see the concave nator though but this is also the kentro model as you can see, it looks really nice compared to the old Kentro. Has a lot more better textures. And I'm pretty sure the spikes are still the same model with the Kentro. Some of them don't look that way though. But I mean, it still won't do collision lag even if it's a couple of spikes off because I'm pretty sure the teeth for every dinosaur. Uh, I don't think that they're part of the mesh, but anyways, so this is their female concave notor, as you could see. Okay, crouch. Its crouching is still the same, and its crouching is really nice. Its legs, though, are kind of skinny. Anyways, also, Concave Nator is still fast. I think they buffed its speed by a bit. Should be faster than Teen and Subrex. Anyways, this is the eating animation. I'm just going to show you guys all the animations again. There's no sound yet to the eating animation, but that's fine. Also, they did add roars to it, so I'll show you guys after I show you all the other animations. So this is the resting animation. As you can see, it looks really nice. And then this is the sleeping animation. Don't think Concave Nator closes its eyes when it sleeps. Yeah, it sleeps with its eyes open. But I mean, most dinosaurs probably do do that. Let's look again. Okay, so yeah, it does close its eye. It's just its eyelid is sort of merged with the eye when it sleeps. Let's so get back up. And let's show you guys the other animations. So this is the walking, as you guys know. This is the idle. Not really much to the idle. Is this the trotting? Yeah, I do see one weird area for a concave notor. It's only on this side. Here, let me just turn up my graphics. Jeez, when you're in the chat, concave notor sounds scary. Like if I start typing stuff. Anyways, let's go over here, all the way to the water. 
Also, Concaven Tour might have the swimming animation. I don't know yet. Okay. So this is its drinking animation. It's quite smooth. Anyways, this is its swimming animation. Or yeah, it actually does swim swimming now. It's not just walking. So that's quite nice. Sure that the animation's not done because the arms don't move really at all with concave notor. Jeez though. Protoceratops did get Rex. I don't know if Protoceratops would actually be able to do that in the real game. I think it's just a joke. But anyways, let's go over and check some other stuff out. Anyways, I did promise you guys I'd show you guys the roars and stuff. First, let's go over the bite animations. So, first bite, second bite. And the claw attack. So they did remove the bite sound with the slashing. Also, Concave Notor cannot jump. That's good because Concave Notor is pretty big. If it was able to jump, it would be kind of scary. But yeah, it's like half the size of a T-Rex, I'd say. It's, I think maybe bigger, no, it's smaller than aloe, but almost the same size. Anyways, but if we go over here to this T-Rex, you could see it's feeding its um, young T-Rexes. Anyways, I'd show you guys the roars. So this is the broadcast. This is the friendly. And this is the pretty much aggressive. But yeah, this is quite a nice feature. They did remove players being able able to play Isla Sorna. Okay then. But um seven Zilla JR wants a shout out. So shout out to him. As you can see, he's this other concave tour. Anyways, um, he's pretty much in a lot of my videos. So. Just thought that would be positive. But Concave Nator does blend in with the trees and stuff as well. Also, since it's a lot faster, it's a lot better at maneuvering around stuff, so it's harder to be seen. Is this the Teen Rex taking on uh, adult mm, Protoceratops? Yeah, they did not finish Rex yet. Rex doesn't even have Crouch yet, so just show you guys really quick. I'm pretty sure maybe T Rex used to have Crouch, but not anymore.
Okay, let's beat the male concave minotaur. Yeah, the male concave minotaur is a lot more vibrant. I don't think there's a speed difference or stat difference, maybe, in them. But as you can see, they don't really add too much here. In Isla Sorna, it was like quite nice to see it grow and stuff. But the purpose that they did take it out is so people could actually be excited for the map. Just because a brand new fresh map. Although we know like pretty much where everything is probably going to be located. It's just they're probably going to add a lot more. Also, another thing I'd like to note out about Concave Nator is he can fit through stuff like Serato. Also, I'm pretty sure he's a lot more agile than Serato. But I don't know if he has as much health as Serato. Pretty sure Serato is bigger than him. But I don't really know yet. Yeah, Serato is definitely bigger than Concave Notor. As you can see, I'm pretty sure Serato is going to have a lot more health than Concave Notor. But to be honest, Serato is quite big. Not to lie. Or to be honest, I think Concave Notor might be able to take on Kentrosaurus. Although Kentrosaurus does look bulky and strong. But anyways guys, this is going to be the end of the video here. I hope you guys liked it. And I'll see you guys in the next one.